Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City up against Manchester United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Phil Foden plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. The lineup for Manchester United. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. take another look he's got such quick feet hasn't he it's a great turn and shot what a good goal that is well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal just look at his reaction moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Walker. And it's through Ben Diaz. Keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. On to Juan Bissaka. Rasmus Heilun. What a bad pass it was. City pushing forward with options available. United keep the ball, advantage. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, uh, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, the referee not messing about. He's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card, and he knew it was coming. Good ball over the top. That's the position to take it away. Moving the ball with purpose. Can they keep it out? Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. They're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. And block there. Well, as 
you can see, City have dominated possession in the last 15 minutes. And with it, have created some great openings. Certainly because they get another before too long. finding space on the flank and that was goalkeeping right out of the top floor. absolutely remarkable the three places were brilliant there and played short and Bernardo Silva has it Well, it's a good effort to extend their lead, but the game's still in the balance here. tempted to show him a second yellow, Stuart. Well, he has to be more clever than that. He can't commit another foul. <laughs> now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I think we could accurately describe it as an all-action performance in the first half from Phil Foden. Stuart, your impressions? Well, it's been a really good display for him so far, Derek. He scored the leading goal, he's been energetic, and his movement has caused lots of problems to this back line. Can he keep it going in the second half, though? So back underway with United looking to plot a route back into this game. Fizzles out. Now well, they might be able to launch a counter attack. Oh, it might be! And the keeper more than equal to the task. A change for Manchester United. And something to go short with this one. Veering in field here. And the shot just over the top. Well, he knows that could prove to be a big miss. This game's not over yet. Well, I think it's fair to say he's not overly pleased, is he? Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Takes aim! Really in the mood today. That was almost another one. Well, he looks so sharp, doesn't he? Just not the finish he was hoping for there. the ball back. Oh, fine stop. Increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. They with a short one here. And a goal it is for Manchester City. They are the team on course for victory. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So back underway. The scoreline 
standing at 2-0. 20 minutes to go then. Significant acreage for City to run into. De Bruyne at the ready. Still dangerous. And it came to nothing in the end. Casemiro. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Boilun. United might be able to cash in. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Silva. Rodri. Now with Silva. Grealish. Beating his opponent. Lisandro Martinez. Anthony. Rasmus Hoylu. Good tackle. Grimish. No possibilities in the centre. To make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack. Bruno Fernandes has it. And that's not what you want to be doing when you've already been booked. And it is a second book of offence. That's the end of the story for him. And it doesn't surprise me, Derek. He's played on the edge today. United will switch things around personnel-wise. It might still be problematic. This could square the game. That was going in. Now breaking in pace. Potential danger. Do they have the guile to... Oh, magical piece of goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. Such good reaction. It really is. And short it is. Diogo Dallo. Rasmus Hoyle. And there goes the final whistle. A real sense of feel good for City fans everywhere. They take the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game. The chances at both ends. They probably just about extra overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, assessing what we saw from Phil Foden in this game, plenty to like. Well, I'm not concerned about him missing a few chances. The main thing is he kept on getting into the right areas and he scored a very good goal as well.